Okay, let me quickly show you how you can enable virtualization on a bootcamp Windows setup on Mac OS. So if you go over to the task manager on your Windows 10 virtualization machine, you will see that it is normally disabled. So there are two options to fix this. There's an easy method, but there's also a more difficult method, which uh, gives you a bit more control. The easy method, first of all, is to just go over and boot to Mac OS, first of all, and then go to the settings or the system preferences. From there, go ahead and click on the startup disk right here. Then if you don't have a bootloader, then it's going to look like this. But if you do have one, it is going to look like this. And just go ahead and choose the bootcamp windows and uh, just go ahead and click on it to choose it. And then go ahead and click on restart. When you restart, you will see that the virtualization is enabled. But this is something you're going to have to do every time you want to boot into windows with the virtualization on. So if you want a bit more control, then there is another program you can use. I won't go into the details here, but uh, it is called R E F I N D. So uh, you can go ahead and look that up and it is actually quite complicated to get it set up. So I'm not going to be showing you guys the whole process for simple things. If you just want to do uh, a virtualization temporary, then the first method works uh, completely fine. But if you want to do it every single time, then you can use this tool. I did use it myself. It has a UI like this, but uh, you're only going to be seeing that UI when you first configure it after that it would automatically boot into Windows with the virtualization on. But uh, there are a lot of steps you have to take in order to download this. And even if you do do it correctly, it can still be a little bit buggy. Or maybe I just didn't do it right. But for simple things, the first method that I showed you will work completely fine. Hopefully this helps you out.